most of Bhutan's 750,000 people live in the fertile valleys of central Bhutan. The beauty of Bhutan's terraced fields and river valleys is breathtaking. Even at these lofty altitudes, one sees oranges, cactus, poinsettias, and banana trees. The Bhutanese of the central and northern regions are thought to be of Tibetan extraction. Many young Bhutanese women are quite beautiful by Western standards. The biggest celebration of all is in Timpu, the capital. Even though television was permitted in the country in 1999, the prospect of a six-hour-long entertainment extravaganza brings a large crowd. Among the surprising facets of Bhutan is the number of English speakers one encounters. This is because English is the language of instruction. These are the all-seeing eyes of Buddha. The Bhutanese keep in constant motion Buddhist prayer wheels, both large and small. The slate carvings in Bhutan are among the best one will find. In the chapel are exquisite butter sculptures. The sight of the prayer flags and the thought of the deep aspirations the flags represent evoke feelings of spirituality in Buddhists and non-Buddhists alike. The highlight of the temple festivals, of which there are 21 in Bhutan each year, are the dances. No temple festival would be complete without the jesters. Archery is the national sport of Bhutan, and archery tournaments abound. A bullseye results in a team song and dance. The Probjika Valley is a winter home to the rare and endangered black-necked crane. High above the Paro Valley, the Taksang Temple Complex clings to a narrow ledge of black rock. Taksong is known as the tiger's lair. If the clouds move on, one better understands why returning travelers describe Bhutan as mystical, magical, and spiritual. <laughs>